Hello everyone, this is Gleb. And sometimes people ask me in my test, I use should have attribute and give a name of an attribute and sometimes value. And sometimes I use should have prop and I give a property value or a name. And sometimes I invoke jQuery author to get the attribute. And sometimes I get the property method. And what's the difference between the two? So in this video, I will explain the difference between attributes and properties and how to confirm the value of a presence using Cypress. So everything starts with HTML. In HTML, you declare nodes for elements and you declare the type of an element. And then you can have attributes like ID, type, check. And the values are always strings like checked, checkbox, and ID example. So these are static attributes as written. And the values could change later. For example, the checked, you know, if the user unchecks the checkbox, then the value will change, but the attribute will stay the same because this is the HTML property. So we can confirm it using, say, get to query, and for example, should have attribute that comes from chai jQuery id and then the value example i have this checkbox right here and it has the attribute id with a value example string and because we provided the name of attribute and value the subject stays the same so we can say the same element uh, should have attribute type checkbox okay and we can continue and say, okay, if I have this element, I can invoke with jQuery method adder and, for example, pass the name ID, and this will yield the actual string example. So we can say should equal example. Okay, so get the element, invoke the adder method, yields a value, confirm the value is string example. There is one more trick. Usually Cypress assertions don't change the subject, but to make it more convenient, this assertion should have author, just like should have prop. If you don't provide the third argument, the value, then it will just yield the value of the attribute. Okay, and it will make sure that it's not undefined. All right, so these are HTML properties. But when the browser reads this HTML, it creates object representations of each element in memory. So this is the document, the DOM. And in the DOM, each element has a lot more properties, like runtime properties, not the declared HTML attributes, but properties, than you might think. So for example, this is the element, right? And if you do the dot, notice the browser suggests of the property names, and there are a lot of them, right? These are not even all of them. And I believe if you want to see them, because they come not from the element itself, but from the prototype of a prototype, like HTML element prototype, you can see that each element in memory at runtime has a lot more information. So these are properties. And if you want to check a property, right, then you use should have prop method. So in this case, right, uh, the runtime ID property was read from the HTML attribute and became the property. Uh, but if you, for example, if you look at the checked, right, the attribute checked would be a string, but the property at runtime would be a boolean. Okay, and again, we can shorten this and just provide value right here to check the attribute, I mean, the property in a single assertion. All right, so this is great. Um, I prefer using should have prop and should have attribute to invoking um, first. So let me just show the same thing. Invoke prop and the name of property checked. And in this case, it should be true. 
Okay, so with the equivalent, they both will retry. You know, if an element is not checked right away, it doesn't have a property initially, but then gets it. So I prefer using a uh, assertion just because in the command log, notice we get the element and we say expected to have property checked with a value of true. But when we invoke the property, it doesn't give us the actual property name. And all we get is some property was true. Which one? So it's very hard to determine from this syntax, what are we testing? So this is why I prefer using the assertion. Okay, so what is written in HTML? These are attributes, all the strings. At runtime, these strings and a lot more information is stored in the DOM element properties. So that's the difference. Find this example and lots more in my Cypress example site, and I will link it in the description of this video.